Nicole the Math Lady, and we're here to talk about missing numbers and multiplication. So let's start with an easy multiplication example. Let's say we had 5 times 3, which we know is 15. But let's say that one of my factors was missing, my 3 was missing. How would I be able to find 3, knowing what you know about multiplication? Ah, you also know that 15 is really about division. 15 divided by 5 would be 3. So, huh, maybe division has something to do with finding missing numbers and multiplication. Let's try it with a different example. So let's use some more complex numbers this time. Let's use... Okay, 32 times P is 128. So we just saw that we could use division to find the missing numbers and multiplication. So let's use that. We're going to start with 128, and that's going to be our dividend. Remember, the dividend just sits there, so it goes on the inside. And 32 is going to be doing the heavy lifting here. So here we go. 32 times what is 128? And it looks like that is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. There we go. Our answer is 4. But let's check it to be sure. 32 times 4 is 128. So there you go. There is how we can use division to figure out missing numbers and multiplication. Pretty simple. See you next time.